Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Tic Tac Tycho. Listen, I am proud that for the next three weeks, I'll be working with the Tycho Community Alliance to help promote their first ever virtual Tycho conference called Beyond the Drum. More on that after the intro. This week's video helps you work your rhythmic ability and, once again, helps you internalize the downbeat using Kuchishoka and some basic footwork. So, let's go. The Taiko Community Alliance, or TCA, has put on the last few North American Taiko conferences, which is a huge undertaking. This year, because of COVID, they decided to do something different, beyond the drum. This is from their website. Going beyond the drum signifies the immense amount of work and skill that contributes to the preservation and growth of our Taiko community outside of playing on Taiko. The conference will take place online from July 30th through August 1st, and the registration fee is very reasonable. There are discussion sessions and topics ranging from practicing at home and group dynamics over Zoom, to inclusivity and appropriation in Taiko, to recording and mixing Taiko music, among others. There's also a marketplace you can check out for various Taiko and Taiko-related merchandise. I highly suggest you take a look at the link I've posted below, even just to see what's being offered. As for Tic Tac Taiko, I have a lot of videos on this channel where you don't need a drum to help you get better when you're on a drum. So it's less beyond the drum and more without a drum. Work with me here. All right, let's get to the fun part. You're going to need three things for this week's drill. Your voice for basic kuchishoka, your feet for some basic footwork, and a metronome to help keep you honest. Stepping is the basic fundamental of body percussion, and I'm not going to go into great detail here, just enough to make sure you're getting the most out of it. All I'm doing is lifting the foot off the ground and coming down in a controlled, timed manner. When I lift my foot, I'm lifting with the knee so that the whole foot comes up with a little bit of flexing to keep the foot from dipping down. The whole foot comes up, not lifting with the heel, but from the knee. When the foot comes up, I'm not coming up very high, I don't need to, and then I come down lightly. I'm not just shifting my weight, I'm not letting one part of the foot stay, stay connected to the floor. I'm coming up completely and coming back down lightly. That light touch is important because that's going to let me know if I'm on the tempo or behind or in front of the tempo. So up a little bit, down decisively. If I stop too hard, it's going to start to hurt. So this is a very relaxed yet percussive way of stepping. While I do this, I'm going to solo with Kuchishoka. You can use your basic Kuchishoka for this. Dong, tsu, ka, and su. That's all you need. If you want to do more than that, you're more than welcome. And here's how that's going to look using my basic stepping, basic Kuchishoka, for an eight count solo with the metronome. Here we go. That's it. When you do this on your own, there's no need to stop after eight. In fact, there's no need to stop until you want to stop. You don't have to worry about chunks of four or chunks of eight. The goal is to stay on tempo. So just keep on going. Enjoy the exploration of Kuchishoka soloing, keeping the downbeat in your body. And when you stop, you stop. For level two and all levels to come, Kuchishoka part stays the same. You're just going to vocalize your solos. The only thing that changes is what your feet are doing. And for level two, we're going to do step touch. So I've got a very neutral stance. I'm going to start by going out with my right, and then I'm going to come in with the left and touch. I'm going to go out with the left, then I'm going to come in with the right and touch. When I say touch, the difference between touching and stepping is pretty simple. Stepping is what I talked about earlier. Foot comes up, foot comes down. I'm putting my weight down on that foot. The touch, the foot is touching the ball of the foot, but I'm not putting any weight on it. So whether I touch out or touch in or touch forward, it's just a touch. I'm not resting any weight. So again, 
out, step, in, touch. Out, step, in, touch. Right, left, left, right. And here's an example of what that would look like with an eight count solo. Don, siku, don, siku, don, 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 kara, don, ka, don, kara, don, ka, don. Level three is turn step. I'm going to turn in the direction, in this case my right, with a little bit of a forward step. Then I'm going to rotate back the way I was facing, bring the other foot in and step. Rotate with my foot towards the direction I'm going, and then turn and bring both feet back. The turn, I have my weight on both feet, and the step is a step, of course. It's not a touch. I want my weight down on all of these. So, turn, together, turn, together. You can make this a little more difficult, if you want, by stepping out longer. But remember, you've got a tempo to keep track of. So if you want to be really impressive and lunge, that's great, but you're going to be doing this and it's going to get really tiring and you might lose the purpose of the drill, which is to stay in time and increase your rhythmic vocabulary. And here's your example, eight counts, turn and step. So, Level four is the box step. Imagine you have a square. Each corner is where one of your feet is going to land. I start with my right going to the right front corner, the left to the left front corner, right to the back left corner, and my left to the back right corner. This one's gonna be difficult, and it doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to make an exact square. The point is to get into the general position. So this foot comes around, front corner, front corner, back corner, back corner. And that's it. You can also do this with the other foot instead. Try both, see which one you like. But the box step is hitting all four corners. So let's try this one. Box step, eight count solo. So, hey, dong, 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 dong. Try levels one through four. Get your feet moving. Get your brain and your voice creating patterns. Then you determine what level five is, and six, and seven, and so on, and so on. You can see in the background here, I'm just trying stuff out. Some work better than others. Some are more fun than others. Some are just ridiculous. But the point is, once my body can internalize a downbeat, and it's not affecting what my brain wants to create, that opens up a whole new world. Imagine the joy and the freedom and the confidence that comes with the ability to know that you can move your feet, you can move your body, you can move your arms, you can smile, you can pose, you can do whatever you want while playing titles, while creating patterns, while you solo, and you're not worried about losing a downbeat, or at least not as worried. There is such freedom, there's such power in that. I want every single one of you to experience what that feels like. The TCA and I would love it if some of you considered recording your attempts, your versions of the footwork Kuchishoka drill and sending it to the Taiko community on Facebook. Now, look, I know it's a tall order and some of you are shaking your head so hard no that I can hear you from over here. But consider this, I just planted a seed. That seed may take time to grow. Over the next three weeks, you're going to be doing Kuchi Shoga with body percussion and coordination. And there's other versions and other variations of this. So try them out. See if you're having fun. Look, I just jumped up and down like an idiot in, in hopes that I was inspiring and energizing some people in the Taiko community. But it's not just me that can do it. You can do it too. We're all in this together. We each can inspire each other. So consider the seed that I planted before you shake it out of your head. And we'll see what happens. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. Let me know by subscribing. If you have comments or questions or you're not sure what kind of video to make, you're on the edge, let me know. Send me an email, comment below, I will get back to you, I promise. Until next time, keep on practicing and be well.